वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री मैथ्स चैप्टर फाइव डिविजन सेशन फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टूडे वी विल डू डिविजन बाय वन डिजिट नंबर विद रिमाइंडर्स लेट अस टेक द एग्जांपल ट्वेंटी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव वी विल ड्रॉ द डिविजन सिंबल पुट ट्वेंटी थ्री इनसाइड फाइव ऑन द आउटसाइड When we divide five, will go four times in twenty-three. Five fours is twenty, so we will put four on top, twenty at the bottom. Subtract. We are left with three. Now let us just name the terms. Five is the divisor. Twenty-three is the dividend. Four is the quotient, and three is the remainder. Now one property about the remainder. remainder will either be zero or any number less than the divisor here we have 3 as the remainder 3 is less than the divisor every time you will notice remainder is always less than the divisor now students if we want to check the calculation that we have done whether it is right or wrong we can do that we have to do divisor into quotient plus remainder divisor is 5 Quotient is four and remainder is three, so we get five into four plus three. Five fours is twenty plus three is twenty-three, and twenty-three is nothing but the dividend. If we get this divisor into quotient plus remainder equal to the dividend, that means our calculations are correct. So this is the way to check your calculation. Let us take an example. Divide three one four by four. Now. since it is we are dividing by one digit number we take the first digit now 3 is less than 4 so we will now take two digits 31 now we will see how many times does 4 go in 31 4 will go seven times 4 sevens is 28 so we will write 7 on top and 28 at the bottom we subtract we are left with 3 we bring down the next digit 4 down we get 34 again we will see how many times does 4 go in 34 Four will go eight times. Four eight size thirty two. We'll write eight on top, thirty two at the bottom. We subtract. We are left with two. So the quotient is seventy eight. Remainder is two. Now let us verify our answer. For verifying, let us write the details. Divisor is equal to four. Quotient is equal to seventy eight. Remainder is equal to two, and dividend is equal to three one four. So we have to do divisor into quotient plus remainder. Divisor into quotient plus remainder is equal to four into seventy eight plus two. Four into seventy eight is three hundred and twelve. Three hundred and twelve plus two, which is equal to three hundred and fourteen. Three hundred and fourteen is nothing but the dividend. Since we have come to the dividend, that means our calculations are correct. Let us take another example. Divide seven eight three five by nine. We'll make the division symbol. Put seven eight three five inside and nine outside. When we divide, we have to take the first two digits because seven is small, so we'll take two digits. Seventy eight. Nine eight sa is seventy two. We'll write eight on top, seventy two at the bottom. We subtract. We're left with six. We'll bring the next digit down. We get sixty three. Nine seven sa is sixty three. Seven on top, sixty three at the bottom. When we subtract, we're left with zero. We bring the five down. Now five. Is smaller than nine, so it will go zero times. We subtract zero, and we are left with five remainder. So quotient is eight seventy. Remainder is five. Now students, please don't make a mistake of stopping at this level and writing remainder five. If you do not put this zero and write quotient is equal to eighty seven, it will be incorrect. Example three: divide one sixty two by ten. Ten will go one time. Write one on top, ten at the bottom. Then we subtract. We get six. We bring the next digit down. We write six at the top, sixty at the bottom. We are left with two remainder. Quotient is sixteen. Remainder is two. Now, did you notice here? One sixty-two was the number given to us. When we have divided by ten, we remove the digit at the units place or ones place. That is two. Whatever is left, one six sixteen is left. That is the quotient. And the digit at the units place is our remainder. So you don't have to do all this calculation. You can directly write. Suppose you have one sixty two divided by ten. You take the digit at the units place, make it the remainder. Whatever is left, that is the quotient. When we divide a number by ten, 
The quotient is obtained by removing the digit at the units place from the number. The digit at the units place is the remainder. Let's take one more example. 415 divided by 10. So here we will remove the digit at the units place. And what is left? 41. So 41 is our quotient. And the digit at the units place is our remainder. So remainder is 5. Now students, you are ready to do worksheet. I request you to like the video. Your likes and comments are a big source of motivation for me. Divide and find the quotient. Question 1. 2, 2, 3 divided by 4. Question 2. 495 divided by 7. Question 3. 4819 divided by 8. Question 4. 3516 divided by 9. Verify your answer. Question 5. 5613 divided by 10. Students, I hope you are revising your tables regularly. And those of you who are, you will find these sums very easy. You may pause the video here, solve these sums and once you have finished solving, unpause and see the solutions. Solutions to Worksheet 5.6 Question 1 was divide 223 by 4. We put the division symbol, write 223 inside and 4 outside. We will have to take the first two digits, 22. Now, 4 5 size 20. We will write 5 on top, 20 at the bottom. We subtract, we are left with 2. We bring down 3, we get 23. Again, we will write 5 on top, 20 at the bottom. Subtract, we are left with 3. So, the quotient is 55, remainder is 3. Question 2. Divide 495 by 7. We have the first digit as 4, which is less than 7. So, we take the first two digits, 49. 7, 7 is 49. We write 7 on top, 49 at the bottom. We subtract, we are left with 0, we bring down 5. Now, don't stop here. We have to check how many times does 5 go in 7. 5 will go 0 times. So, we will write 0 on top, we write 0, 0 here. We subtract, we are left with 5. So, quotient is 70, remainder is 5. Divide 4819 by 8. We will make the division symbol, write 4819 inside, 8 on the outside and then we start dividing. We will take the first two digits. 8, 6 size 48, we write 6 on top, 48 at the bottom, we subtract, we get 0, we bring the 1 down, the 1 is too small, isn't it? And there are other numbers waiting, so we will write a 0 on top and bring the next digit down. 19, 8, 2 size 16, we write 2 on top, 16 at the bottom, subtract, we are left with 3. Quotient is 602 and remainder is 3. I hope you have got the answer as 602 and not 62. Question 4. Divide 3516 by 9. We make the division symbol, write 3516 inside, 9 outside and start dividing. We take 35. 35 will go 3 times. 9 threes are 27. 3 at the top, 27 at the bottom. We subtract. We get 8. We bring the 1 down, 81. 9 nines are 81. 9 at the top, 81 at the bottom. We subtract. We get 0. We bring the 6 down. 6 will go 0 times. 0 at the top. 0 at the bottom, subtract, we are left 6. So, quotient is 390, remainder is 6. We had to verify our answer also. So, we will multiply the divisor into quotient and add the remainder. Divisor is 9, quotient is 390 and remainder is 6. So, 9 into 390 plus 6, which is equal to 3510 plus 6, which gives us 3516, which is equal to the dividend that means our calculations are correct question 5 divide 5613 by 10 here all we have to do is take the units place make it the remainder whatever is left after the units place that is 561 is the quotient so quotient is equal to 561 remainder is equal to 3 this brings us to the end of the video lesson do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time I upload a video for you. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.